Hello Zebrahead, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today we are checking out the Foot Soldier, yet another zombie class. This one of course is a Garden Warfare 1 classic. He honestly hasn't changed too much from Garden Warfare 1 all the way up to here, Garden Warfare, not <laughs> Battle for Neighborville, not even Garden Warfare game. Abilities, he has the Super Stink Cloud, which with this one of course, I think it lasts a little bit longer than normal. Uh, throws a gas bomb to block enemy, but not your team's vision. And that's actually a big change from Garden Warfare 2. It it is much harder for the enemy to see through the supplants, but the zombies can th see through it much easily, easier. That was a problem in Garden Warfare 1 and 2 where the, nobody could see it through it. Uh, L1, or our triangle, is rocket jump, which is just leap into the air. You just leap straight up. And then the ZPG launch a highly explosive rocket. This one's hard to line up perfectly, but once you do, boom, it lands a ton of damage. And for the role he is attack. Foot soldiers are highly versatile attackers. They can hit targets at far ranges, provide cover, and eliminate the largest foes with their ZPG. Their primary weapon, of course, is the Z1 assault blaster, rapid fire assault pellets. The specialist can shoot ZPG while using the rocket jump. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started showcasing the foot soldier. So I decided we'll play a little bit of Turf Takeover and we're playing on the zombie side. Before we get started too much, I do need to quickly go ahead and add his upgrades because we actually got him the level 10 and promoted last episode, so go check that out. But let's just go ahead and check out some of the things he got from that. We got Ranger, which is increased zoom when aiming, which can be pretty good. Um, there was also, yeah, the ammo thingamabob, increased ammo for Z1 Assault Blaster. And if we wanted to add anything more, I guess the leveling up experience would be pretty good. So that was all from the uh, first 10 levels. So the game begins in a couple of seconds. Let's go for it and see how things go. Of course, like I read before, he is an attack an attack type class. So our goal is gonna be get out there and do as much damage as possible. There's sort of been a bit of drama about the foot soldier and the Colonel Corn. A lot of people are saying they're way too weak to even compete with uh, most of the plants in this game so far. And a lot of people are calling for him to be buffed. I'm not really sure if that's really the case, in my opinion. We'll have to play him a little bit today and sort of see what's going on. I do feel like his primary weapon can be a little bit on the weak side. Ow! They are just everywhere right now. I'm trying to find a safe place to actually attack. But yeah, it's crazy to think that because Foot Soldier and Colonel Corn were two of my favorite variants and classes in Garden Warfare 1 and 2. Um, it would be a shame if they're not really very viable in this game. So hopefully that's not the case and maybe it just takes a little bit more of getting used to. Snapdragon's coming in, can I ZPG him? No, he didn't even get up here. Oh, hello, sir. I was damaging you earlier. Oh gosh, here comes another one. Can I back up? Is he gonna get me? Okay, he did not get me. If I could just, oh, I should have reloaded sooner. Oh no, you get back here. Where is he, where is he? Come on, can we finish him off? No, it's too late, it's too late. Let's throw some smoke down. Once again, it's harder for the enemy to see through this than anything else. Whoa, okay, that's that's the, the logs, oh boy. Okay, he missed me. And he's getting attacked by a goat. There we go, so that is our first vanquish with the foot soldier today, that's great. Over this way we just have a uh, couple of weeds. We, we still wanna get rid of those because they will swarm the point over time. I mean, with that being said, they are swar swarming the point regardless. Oh, can we get the, the oak? Ah, oh, not quite, that's sort of a shame. Lots of very forward pushing zombies at the moment. Oh no. Okay, so it looks like they got it. Oh, I almost got hit by the log. I gotta back it up because they're gonna be rushing us real quick here. But they're gonna be mush pushing, not mushing, pushing the next payload. Oh, he has a chomper. Oh, he's in trouble. I need to reload more. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, here comes Snapdragon. Lots going on over there. I'm gonna line this up and it's not lined up with anything. I know the yoke was over this way. Well, actually he's an acorn and he's down. So things haven't been going perfectly so far. I'm trying to play it real safe here because they can just catch up to me real easy. Oh, what about you? Come on, come on. Ah, hold on. No, wait. Ah, oh, I got hit by a spike weed. I didn't even see that. Or whatever it is. I forgot. <laughs> go, 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 go. Catch him. It looks like Captain Deadbeard's actually doing away with him pretty well. Go for it! I keep missing that CPG every time. Trying to get the rose as much as possible, but she didn't take any damage from that. I just feel like it is a little bit more difficult to be accurate with the Z1 Assault Blaster, the primary weapon. I'll get that pea shooter. See, just like that, it's really hard to make a difference when they're running away like that, which is what Soldier used to be really good at, is catching retreating plants. Oh, I'm a goat. And I'm dead. 
<laughs> okay, so things aren't going so well so far. I found it to be quite easy to use in a story mode, but obviously in story mode, the computers don't go through great lengths to dodge you. So that's sort of where the big difference comes in and why Soldier feels so difficult to use here in the online mode. And that is definitely a big concern and I can see the more I play this, why people are maybe calling for him to be buffed a little bit. It is a bit odd, for sure. I don't know what they could exactly do to make him a bit more viable. Some people are saying just a straight damage upgrade might be good. I'm not really sure, of course, I'm not a game developer. And usually those kind of ideas need to be thoroughly tested, I would hope. But that does where, you know, this game has a benefit when it comes to uh, buffing things, is that, you know, they don't have to test every single variant once they want to buff a class. But I just, like, I didn't do much damage at all, so I really am starting to see what people were talking about. Somebody was healing me with something there. Don't know how that works. Oh, and I didn't even get you there. I feel like the ZPG does launch quicker than it did in the original, but I might be wrong. Oh gosh. <laughs> I can't even see what's happening right now. Come on, I almost got you, you were so low on health. Oh well, it's one of those things where it's like, you definitely don't wanna be close range with a soldier, but far range seems a little wonky because it's just hard to keep that consistent damage. So I can see, once again, why a lot of people aren't so happy with the soldier at the moment. I will try to get the level 10, but at this rate, unless we start really picking up the pace, it's gonna take me forever to do that. But we'll just try to get that done throughout today's episode and see how it goes. For right now, I'm just gonna sort of treat him like a sniper and stay back and attack plants however I can. It doesn't help that my aim is not that great, apparently. Excuse me, All-Star. Oh, I got something with that, but it wasn't enough to take him down. Whatever it was. Where is this chomper at? I do not know. Here's a mushroom, though. And a Snapdragon. Oh, Snapdragon, <laughs> my aim is so bad. I might actually have to adjust the aim assist. It's on zero right now. I might need some kind of aim assist because this is just like really bad. I'll revive this guy in the meantime. I might as well help in some way, right? Oh my gosh, I thought he was gonna move closer. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know what it is. I just, I was like all the way to the side of that. I'm gonna call baloney on that one. Ah, oh, not quite. Not quite happening this time. Come on. Jeez, that goes really far too. I thought that his dig would end before that. I'm not playing well. <laughs> this is mostly my fault, I'm sure. But so far, I'm really tempted to see how a soldier will perform in more of a defensive or an offensive position, because this is defense and they're sort of closing in the distance on me a lot, and that's definitely not making it any easier. But honestly, they're vanquishing the zombies like crazy. It's not just me, but there we go. We got a ZPG vanquish, finally. This Rose is almost down, got her. See, that's the power of the soldier. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it feels great. And I missed. I gotta say, I'm heavily disappointed by the rocket jump. As somebody who was much, uh, a much bigger fan of the secondary rocket jump, which was two uh, rocket jumps instead of one, but it was sort of more forward, I ran at full speed there and couldn't get away from him. Wow. But yeah, it used to be that you could have this one rocket jump that makes you go up high, or you could have two that don't make you go as high but make you leap forward. It was more of a rocket leap. I prefer that so much more, added so much more mobility, and because of that strategy to the foot soldier, you just can't do that here. You only have the higher leap or higher jump. So that's sort of a shame. I wish that they would go back and change that or at least add the option. I don't know if they will, I'm doubting it at this point. It doesn't look like they're gonna be adding any kind of ability modifiers, except for what, those that you can unlock by mastering the class. So I don't know, maybe maybe some things will change there. Oh, got you at least a little bit. I wouldn't mind a larger range of splash damage with the ZPG, personally. Of course, it could be really good to use to prey upon uh, uh, plants like that that are using the you know, stationary modes like uh, Gatling P. Okay, I'm done for. And that's where I need to keep my distance because if somebody like a Chomper or a Snapdragon closes in on me, if I've already used my rocket jump, there's not much I can do to get away. So Soldier has oddly enough been sort of thrown for a loop in Battle for Neighborville. I, I'm just so surprised to see that because he's always been such a dominant class in Garden Warfare 1 and 2. The times are changing. All right, where'd you go, buddy? Actually, I might have to deal with this guy first. Jeez, I just can't do it. Especially, once again, these close range skirmishes, I just can't, I just can't. 
So I'll really quickly change the, the aim assist. I don't wanna go too crazy with it, but I actually wanna get something done in today's episode. Uh, oh, are you gonna revive me or no? I guess not. Alrighty then. Uh, so controls, and there should be a PVP aim assist. We'll just do light for now. See if that helps whatsoever. Cause I just feel like I'm struggling. Anyways, what's going on around here? I see the sunflower over this way. I got her ever so slightly. What was that? I guess it was a super brains. What is a Colonel Corn doing over here? Okay, I at least got him a little bit, right? I don't think I actually even got an assist for that. Never mind. Oh, come on, they my own teammates blocked off my ZPG there. Not good. And we had two foot soldiers on that oak, and his health was just barely going down. So it's a little bit of a weird situation. Unfortunately, I am starting to agree with people who are claiming that foot soldier isn't that great in this game. I really don't want it to be true, though. We'll keep trying our best and try to kick some butt. Not to say that he's unusable or anything like that, but he might need some work, is the thing. I would love to hear your feedback on that, but we'll talk about that more in the next round. So now that we're on the attack side, maybe things will go a little bit better for the soldier. I can only hope. I wanna wait over here. Everybody else is on the other side. Maybe I can distract everybody or all the plants by going in over here, sneaking a couple of vanquishes that way. That might be good. So everybody stay over there. It's Operation Sneaky Pants. Woohoo. <laughs> all right. Oh no, there's another soldier coming. Two soldiers. Oh, no, he's gone. <laughs> see, and everybody didn't want to be a soldier anymore. All righty, let's go. I don't see any plants just yet, but I do see some spots to spawn in, some zombies, so let's get to it. Oh, escort my cart to destroy the model mortar. We'll try. Oh, geez. <laughs> I did not get anything done there, except for spawning things in. Uh, Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, hello. Where'd you go? You were here, now you're gone. You're up there? Well, I could have gone up there, but I guess I missed my opportunity. Come on. Gotcha. I feel like the extra zoom isn't helping me at all. So I, honestly, that might be something I work on a little bit. Oh, I got him, I got him with the, the smoke cloud. That helped a lot. I do feel like the smoke cloud does slightly more damage in this game, but I might be wrong. I need some healing desperately. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get any. Oh, you are super low on health. Can I get him? I don't know. He's right up here. I can get him. I believe in myself. Oh no. I'm done for. Run. 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 I made it. I made it. I'm alive. There we go. <laughs> don't know how that happened, but I'm, I'm glad for it. Okay, not too much going on here, but maybe we could just rush over. Oh boy. No, no, I tried the rocket jump away. I wasn't able to, I wanna be unrevivable, unfortunately. That stinks. Oh well, I did what I could. Let's just rush back out there as soon as we can. That's where it's nice to have the sprint. Come on, I don't know why it stopped. Well, oh, let's spawn some stuff in. Whenever I have the chance, I'm almost out of spawnables for now. Hmm. So luckily there's not too many plants like infiltrating our back lines just for right now. I wouldn't mind sneaking over this way. Once again, I'm trying to get those better angles. Okay, uh, I will try to move out of that. Oh, here you are. Oh, come on. Yeah, the, ma the, the, the nightcap mushroom. Why are there so many plants? <laughs> come on, where's my team? <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, I was like, okay, maybe a teammate's showing up to save me, but no, it's just like four more plants. Thank you for the, revive. Why does this happen every time? Revive, <laughs> come on, really? How many vanquishes am I at? A whopping one. At this point, I am basically giving up on the idea of getting level 10 in today's episode. Like, I, I'm gonna try to keep optimistic, but I'm just not getting experience at a rate that it wouldn't take several hours. It's much faster in like story mode, of course. See, when I'm actually accurate though, it's not that bad. It's just, it is really, really tough to stay accurate. And this is coming from somebody, I mean, I don't know if this adds any weight to the subject or maybe shows that I just stink, but I feel like, oh, that was good. Soldier was probably my best class on the zombie team in Garden Warfare 1 and 2. 
I would argue very heavily about that. That that's, that was my best class. Where did he go? I don't know, he's just running big circles around me right now. He has another one already, what? You're kidding me. That was ridiculous. I can't wait to try the, the chomper because apparently he's insane now. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, so let's just keep moving. We still have three minutes and 20 seconds just to push this ever so slightly more. We can do it. And if I spawn in some zombie friends, maybe they'll help us do it. Uh, screen door, that seems good. Come on, the payload's almost pushed. If it is, I might just respawn so that I can get there faster. And while I'm at it, maybe I could also uh, change this. So increased ammo capacity is fine. The Ranger isn't so good though. I'm thinking we could do like Fearless, regenerate health when near multiple enemies, increase ammo capacity, well that's what we have. Uh, or we could do two of these, combo. We could do like rough patch and low life. Did that work? Yeah. Okay, that should be good. We'll push the payload, hope for the best, see how it goes. Okay, so yeah, this is where the payload like immediately explodes, right? Or am I thinking about somewhere else? Yeah, I'm thinking about somewhere else. It's a little bit farther along. No, you don't. I'm out of here. I'm trying to catch that nightcap. He was at like one health. There he is. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Leave me alone, leave me alone. I got places to be. I gotta get at least like one vanquish here. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. I almost got the ZPG out there, but everybody's just hunting me down. Maybe one of these two guys can respond me, but I doubt it. They, I think they were looking like they were running the other way. Actually, wait. No, come back. Anybody? That's a rose. She isn't gonna help me. Nobody? Here comes a scientist. No. Am I like not revivable right now? No, somebody's doing it. No, come on. I'm right here. Why? Ah. All right, well I need to start reviving more people. Maybe I just have bad karma. Cause I know I'm not the best at remembering to revive people. I need to get better at it. Anyways, let's do that. Got a bucket head coming out. There's another uh, zombie we can spawn right over here. Whoa. Oh, hello, Colonel Corn. You know, they were saying that you need to be buffed just as much as I need to be buffed. We'll see who needs to be buffed more. I guess you do, but we had the help of another soldier. So was it really fair? Not really. Oh gosh. Throw the smoke cloud over that way. Got an acorn right over here. If I wasn't so awful at the game, who was behind me? I guess another nut, uh, not like cap, acorn. Jeez, it's it's not going well. But how many vanquishes are we at now? Five, that's a little better. I'm happy about that. I mean, usually I expect a lot better for other classes, but I'm doing what I can with this guy. I mean, General Supremo is my favorite variant in Garden Warfare 1. And my favorite variant in Garden Warfare 2 was is really hard to decide because there's so many good ones, but Probably, probably the vampire flower. But after that, I don't know, probably, um, or stuffy, stuffy sunflower might be better. Um, oh geez, here he is, here he is, we found him. Oh gosh, that didn't exactly work the way I was hoping. Let's throw up the smoke cloud, it'll make, her harder, make it harder for them to see. Okay, come on. Just gotta get rid of your shield, but it's holding up really tough. Come on, I got him, I can't believe it! It's a miracle! Run, run, run. Don't you hit me with that chili bean bomb. Oh. There we go, oh my gosh. Ugh. That didn't even do anything to your shield, really? I'm gonna do that so I can maybe sneak behind you. I'm just trying to get up all up in your face. Oh man, no, no, run, 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 run. Press the button and go, go, go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't like it when the chomper chases me. Where did that acorn go? I have no clue. Just trying to keep my distance, get some vanquishes while I can. Another citron, this guy just keeps getting out here. Uh, what was that from? Oh, this guy. Okay, he's done, he's done, he's finished. All right, my walls cannot stop my magnet on a pole. 
Oh, nice. Got the assist there. What are you doing? There's like more than one Citron, too. Okay. So let's capture this electrical station. Can I get up here? That'd be very advantageous. You're kidding me. Why didn't it knock me back like that? Really? Oh, but I still made it. Who needs it? Because if I could just make the most of what I can up here, especially if I can shoot them from behind their shields. There was somebody there with really low health. That acorn had like one HP. Too bad I couldn't quite get him. Oh man. So what's going off over here? Not too much. You know, I'm just gonna launch this and hope for the best. I got a couple points of damage. It's something. So we need to capture this point. I'm not helping too much with that. I don't trust being down here though, really. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, somebody got you. That's good. I'm capturing the objective. It's earning me some experience. Get him, get him, get him. Nice. But that wasn't me, apparently. Oh, see you, buddy. Did that catch you? Sort of, but also not really. Let's get back here. Come on, we almost got it. We got it. Nice. Oh no. Get the smoke cloud, now they won't be able to see a thing. Which means I can just sort of sneak up on them, they don't even know. Definitely the smoke cloud is one of the most advantageous things we can use now, as like a team play move. Before it was very disruptive to team play because nobody could see what they were doing. Uh, but now we can and they can't, and that's such a huge difference. Get him, got him. And I almost got the Citron. Things are starting to pick up a little bit. Got him, level four achieved, it's possible, I can dream of a situation where we get level 10 as soldier in one episode. Oh, that's a nightcap. He's gone. Okay. Uh, who broke the cart? <laughs> me. I guess it was me. Ah, uh, no, no, help, help, teammates, I need assistance. What happened, where'd he go? What? We have a situation with the disappearing chomper. That was weird. But we'll get this oak if we can. Nice, that was just an assist though. I thought I finished him off. Oh, there's another one up this way. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Just an assist, it just won't give me anything better than that. This soldier's being awesome, he's spawning and stuff. Looking for those plants, trying to help my teammates wherever I can. Oh my gosh, this could be good. It, it was okay. These Citrons are really putting in the work though. Throw in the smoke cloud, that'll make it really tough for them to see. This nightcap is making everything difficult. Oh boy. Yeah, they're sort of just firing, I think. I don't know if they can see what they're doing because they're not firing at me even though I'm right in front of them. They just don't know. That's really, really good. And then I can just do this and hope for the best. Yeah, it was okay. I need to get the sunflower. The sunflower is keeping them so healed that we can't do anything about it. So if I can sneak up behind them, are you kidding me? Why is it just so bad? It's supposed to get me up there. That's his only purpose as an ability is to get me up there and it can't do it. Can I go all the way around? By this point, they'll probably all be gone. Jeez. Okay, who can I get? Any kind of like thinner character is really tough to hit. I've noticed that, not just with Soldier, but like most, most characters. I need to get the Sunflower or something. First, I got you though. Turning back around, most people still haven't noticed that I'm right behind them. Nice, good job with that. Oh, gotta be careful, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Got him, nice job. I'm on a times eight vanquish streak, that's hard to believe. I couldn't use my abilities for a second. Oh, this is why. <laughs> no, 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 no. I love how we have like a second where we hang in the air when we use our ZPG. That's really helpful, because it's gonna throw the enemy off and it just works really well, you know? So that's awesome, I like that. Can we get a times 10 Vanguard streak with the, with the soldier now? I guess the soldier got mad. He got very determined after I complained about him all around. Oh boy. Come on, come on. We need two more bombs. We have four minutes to get them though. We have plenty of time. Whoa. This guy doesn't see me. No, he does now. Ugh. Okay, time to skedaddle maybe. Actually, is he chasing me? Yeah, he's just sort of attacking over this way. Throw down the clouds. 
There we go, there we go. Ooh, sometimes it's like significantly more helpful to not zoom in. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Who's gonna get it? Oh, <laughs> we got him. Why did that fill me up? Oh, because I get health back because of my one upgrade, and that's gonna be great. Thank you very much. That's a classic garden warfare move right there. Do you have a bomb? I don't know, no, you're just riding around. Most of these players do not. I need to start vanquishing some of these guys if we wanna get this delivered. There's still two of them that need to get here. I'm not helping out much with it. I'm sorry about that, teammates. Not my intention, I promise. I mean, of course there are some times where I just have to zoom in. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Ah, oh, I need to like press it. Pick it up, I picked it up. How much time do I have? Not much. I should have went the other way. Well, I can't go the other way is the problem. Oh, I almost got the oak though. Almost got him. I pushed it a little bit farther, which is always good. Run, 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 come on. We can do it, I know we can. Oh boy, 45 seconds with that one. They're really putting up their best effort. They did not want us to win right now. Oh boy, there's a couple of bombs on the field though. Okay, that oak I almost took out earlier is out and about again. Come on, ah, oh, didn't quite get him. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I guess we won! Good job, everybody! We did it, we won! And I actually did okay with Soldier towards the end. I mean, I know I had aim assist on, but to be honest with you, I didn't really feel it much, so I don't know how much it actually helped. But towards the end there, we were able to get things figured out. Definitely using the smoke cloud strategically is a game changer for this class. If they were to buff him in any way, I think I would just want like a slight damage upgrade I don't know how bad his range damage fall off is, if at all. I don't know if he does have any fall off, so we'll, we'll just sort of have to see. I don't know if they plan on changing him or not, but if they do, it'd be very interesting to see how they change him whatsoever. But yeah, with that being said, we'll go and do one more round and hopefully along with it, reach level 10. And look at that, I got Assist Master, awesome. Okay, looks like we're joining a little late to this one, that's fine, will this launch me? Oh, it makes me run a little faster. Oh, that's cool, I've never seen that before. Alrighty, well it looks like we're, yeah, like I said, we're a little bit late to this one, but that's fine. We can still participate in the action. Oh, that was actually pretty good. I was able to stack on some good damage there. Here comes some weeds, which is not so good. <laughs> that was not the best throw. Gotta be honest, my aiming there could have been better, but that's a nice EPG. Awesome. Oh no, Oak's getting closer. Well, let's run back. Once again, we're in a defensive position, which I don't think is going to aid us too much but we will make the most of it. Now that I sort of know how to strategically use the smoke cloud a bit more, maybe that'll change things up for us. Oh, come on. Did that get him? I guess it got him, it was a little weird. It was a little wonky to say the least. Okay, let's get up this way. They're pushing for overtime, so. I don't know, we might just, this game might be really short. Ah. Uh, okay, got him a little bit. Oh no. Once again, not the best. I, I guess I'm not learning how to use this very strategically. I mean, this guy knows I'm here, or maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just got lucky. Okay, I'm running. They're pushing for overtime, and it looks like we won. Okay, well that was a nice 20 second round, I guess. So, with that being done, we will try to get into zombie team next round. That's sort of the thing, I had to leave the lobby and join this one so I could get on the zombie team, and then is it gonna force me back to plants again? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Looks like we're, no, we're not defending, we're attacking, that's right, okay. This might be good then. I mean, I still haven't seen the end of this map, I'm pretty sure, right? If I have, I've forgotten, which means I need to see it again, electric slide, I need to see it again. So let's hope that's exactly what happens, but we'll have to wait and see in the next 20 seconds. Doesn't really matter where we start for this one, but you know, the farther to the right, the better, because that's sort of the farthest from the plant spawn. So yeah, I guess over this way actually isn't too bad. Everybody else is way over there. You have the power. Uh, stay together <laughs> as I am all the way over there. I'm telling you guys what to do. That's it, <laughs> I'm the leader. Do as I say, not as I do. Ah. I don't see anybody yet. Capturing landing spots for my signal boosters with my face on the TV. Actually, maybe we have seen the end of this one. Yeah, with the TVs. Oh, I remember now. Let's spawn in some zombies. Get it moving. I see some shots being fired. But from where? Oh, stacking up the damage already. Toss in the smoke. And this is what we're asking for right here. Uh, a waste of his EPG, maybe. Oh gosh. Ah. Oh, 
I'm getting slowed down. Come on. She keeps healing herself like crazy. I'm so getting vanquished here. Ah. I mean, that's just sort of the strategy, right? I mean, I probably should have been jumping a lot more there too. That's sort of the strategy. You jump around like a crazy person and it becomes near impossible to hit you. Okay. <laughs> I definitely think they need to balance that a little bit more, to say the least. Let's get a speed boost. That's a really cool thing. I never noticed that. I don't know if I've just been running over that and just not noticed, or if I have somehow avoided that every time. I think there's another one over this way. Yep, there is. Let's get these going because the more the merrier. It's gonna be a zombie party, everyone's invited, except for the plants. We need to get those guys out of here. Ah, that's gonna miss. So yeah, I also need to jump around like a little maniac and destroy the sunflower. But once again, once I start jumping around like a little maniac, it becomes near impossible to hit anything. So what's the real solution here? I don't know, give up and go home. Because I jumped there and that messed me up. It's just like, ooh, I guess the answer is not be bad. <laughs> okay, well, we'll try. I feel like the zombies are significantly disadvantaged on this map specifically. The other map, the, the Weirding Woods map, is a ton of fun. I feel like that's one of the best balanced maps so far. Because I've definitely had some good rounds there, both as a plant and zombie. But this one is almost always the plants just dominating and getting this first point a win. It's just really hard to get on that point and stay on that point as a zombie. Oh boy. Because there's also always cacti over here just sniping the whole day. I mean, I wonder how Captain Deadbeard would fare. Can only imagine somewhat decently. Okay, let's try again. I'm gonna run back out there, hope for the best. I mean, I am getting some shields because I, things haven't been going well. They give me some extra health, which is good. But at the same time, it really shows how things have not been going good. Are you kidding me? That's not even fair. I'm like not even very far from my spawn. Oh boy. Okay, well, we'll just try to avoid him for now. I, I just don't feel like we have a very big team either. My confidence for maybe hitting level 10 in today's episode is once again plummeted. We are at level five. Yeah, I'm way off, way off. If we had another round like we did at Weirding Woods, I'd say maybe, but now, nowhere close, nowhere close. Get him, get him, get him. As much as I can. Probably shouldn't have used the smoke that way. I don't know if that was worth my while. I need to reload more. I know that there's a nightcap around. Oh, hello, nightcap. That, no, couldn't catch you. Can you just leave me alone? I'm just trying to play the game. Just trying to play. I see you behind the tree, you know. At least for now. Oh, nice job, scientist. Not nice job, me. <laughs> that is for sure. Oh, I'm coming to get you, buddy. Stay there, stay there, I'm coming, I'm coming. I got gotcha. you. Now let's make our sneak entrance. They won't expect us. Awesome. Let's hope that hits somebody. Ow, ow, ow. You again? Why don't you just leave me alone, you big bully? That scientist ran off without me. So much for that, and he's back here again. I can't help you this time. They're chasing me as it is. Oh, nobody's on the point? Nope, there's always somebody on the point. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. I just dunk my head on something. I just wanted to get out of here. Hi, ay, ay. This is just sort of, this is like so bad to the point where it's just not even fun. They will just, I don't know what to do. I try to keep up with my teammates because you see there's a lot of triangles around here. And even more nightcaps. Okay, can I help this guy out at all? I guess not. Oh, he's still right here. Get him, get him out of here. What a pain in the butt. Okay, run, run, run. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Two of them, they're both hitting me. I'm gonna spawn a healing zombie in. Maybe, it won't let me. Uh, heal zombie, quickly, quickly heal me, heal the healing zombie. Hopefully, yeah, that'll hit somebody. Hit at least one person, I'm a goat now. Doesn't feel good to be a goat at this moment. Okay, get up here. Ooh. Definitely get rid of that. 
Scientist is on the point, which I would love to get on the point with them, but whenever I've done that, it's gone awful. It feels like the plants have gotten overconfident and they've made their way off the point though, which is definitely a good opportunity for us to take the take it as much as possible because we only have a couple of seconds left. Uh, okay, not what I wanted. I was gonna tell everybody to stay together, to tell them to sort of get over here. Oh, don't get me, don't get me. Colonel Corn is down. Ah, oh, that was not good. Revive quick. Nah, uh, nope, not happening. I was hoping that All-Star Shield would have protected me for long enough, but it didn't quite. Oh, that Colonel Corn's at like one health. Can we get this point? It's on overtime. Somebody has to get over there right now. Get on the point, please, please. No, they couldn't do it. No person could just put one little zombie foot on the point. All right, I think I'm done with that. <laughs> I, I gave it my all, but I think that's all I got. So after playing almost an hour of Soldier Online, I think I am now firmly in the camp of people who demand a buff for the Soldier. I usually don't say that kind of thing, but I just definitely feel like he needs some upgrades. Maybe if I get him the level maximum, like the maximum level, we'll get some different upgrades that'll make me feel different about it. But that's gonna take me a while. Definitely it is a whole lot easier to level him up on story mode than it is online. But I, don't, I honestly, I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you think that the soldier needs a buff? Do you think he's good as he is? All that kind of stuff. I would love to hear all of your opinions on it. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Soldier so I know you've watched the end of the URA Zebra task. If you are also subscribed to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.